joined by a familiar face to Bison fans, Kyle Emanuel, back in town traveling with everyone. What's it mean to be able to come check out a Bison game? Oh, it's, it's been awesome. It's been fun. I kind of get to see the other side of things, you know, not uh, not being a player, just being a, a fan and a spectator. And, um, you know, you just miss the Bison family, miss being around these people. So uh, I'm glad I was able to make it back and, um, you know, excited to, excited to see what, what happens here in the second half. Playing for San Diego now, uh, what, have, what do you think's been the biggest adjustment when it comes to making that leap to the NFL game? I mean, there's there's been a lot. There's been a lot of things that are different. Um, it, it it truly is your job now. Uh, it, it, we kind of think it is in college, but it, it really isn't. Um, you know, the, the speed of the play, the competition was all something um, as well. But it's it's just everything. It's uh, you know, you're, you're truly on your own now too. You know, it, it's different. You know, um, you know, living on your own, uh, um, trying trying to adjust to an NFL lifestyle, to find a place to live. You know, it's just everything. There's there's a lot that goes into it. You gotta um, you know, you gotta deal with the off-field stuff and the on field stuff so uh, it, it's been a little bit of transition but you know it gets easier day by day you're out in San Diego now how much is just the the change of lifestyle a Nebraska kid playing up in Fargo North Dakota now you're in San Diego California I mean what, what's been the biggest adjustment just in in the living situation um, I mean I think the for me it's been the traffic <laughs> um, <laughs> believe it or not uh, I've never had to deal with traffic. obviously Fargo doesn't have a big traffic problem and I was right there on campus you know my little town of 6,000 people didn't have any people but uh, yeah that, that's been something I had to deal with but uh, um, otherwise you know it's not too hard to adjust to you know sunny and 75 every day and, and beaches so I think I can adjust to that pretty easily but uh, yeah, yeah San Diego is a beautiful place you played at NDSU you, you went through a lot here at NDSU and you were extremely successful at NDSU how did that help prepare you you think for the next level uh, maybe more than anybody else thought it might yeah I think uh, just being around this program and how we worked and how we prepared and things like that you know it, it was more than just the wins and and how successful we were it's just um, you know the kind of people that you're around and and you know being around like people like Jim Kramer and, and coach Kleiman and, and they just they, they teach you to be a, a good person but also they teach how to work and they teach how to become a football player and, um, you know everything that I learned here you know has prepared me for what I'm doing now and from here on out you've still got a long season left NFL goes a lot longer than college yeah. uh, what's the sec the challenge from here for yourself how are you pushing yourself here well I mean for me it's been trying to stay healthy uh, you know unfortunately I've had a little bit of you know some injuries this year and um, you know we're not exactly where we are right now you know we're two and seven but uh, um, you know like you said it's a long season and uh, um, so I'm, you know when we get back to San Diego just just try to get healthy and, and you know try to finish out the season the best way that we can well thank you so much for your time we really appreciate it you know bison fans everywhere have been excited to, to see you up there that's for sure uh, that's it for now guys for your uh, proceed halftime report back to you